How about your facial expressions? Facial expressions like smiles and frowns are universally understood by all of us from infancy, from the time we're a little baby. Make sure your facial expressions match the information being presented. And I think this is something I'm always talking about. I never stop saying that we need to smile, be positive, have that big smile on your face, look like you want to be happy, that you're confident, that you like your presentation, that you like your topic, and you like the audience. Thank you for coming. So good to see you today. It's wonderful. And this, this presentation, I'm so excited about it. So this is that kind of smile, a frown or a tiredness. This is going to really make your audience become negative and not really interested. So be sure that you look around at each person in your audience. Share the love. In your presentation, be sure to include some moments where you can express a relaxed expression, which makes the audience also feel comfortable. You know, our presentation has so many details in the middle part, but you need to take time. And sometimes you can use a digression, which we talked about, or you can say something like, I really like this topic, or I really think this is exciting, or this is a really important part. And that way the audience gets interested all over again. You can use that with your body and facial expression. Facial expressions can confuse the audience if they are not positive and related to the presentation. Especially distracting are expressions that suggest the presenter is not happy making the presentation. So here you can see on my picture here, right? So we want to have some positive information. And this is having a little fun. I feel relaxed. And this is a serious point. So these are very different ways to show your facial expression. I don't know why it's so hard. I think we're just not used to seeing ourselves. So when my students make presentations, I'm turning on the video camera. I tell them, look at the camera, but they very quickly become very serious and very nervous and then start looking down at their cards. It seems very difficult for people to smile and be positive while making their presentation. I think the reason is lack of practice and lack of seeing yourself. When you see someone else, like you see me, and I'm smiling, you say, oh, that's smiling, that's normal, that's natural. But uh, no, that's not natural. I am forcing myself to smile more. I'm forcing myself to be positive. I'm forcing it. In fact, when I'm done this presentation today, I think my face muscle will be a little bit tired and painful because I was forcing myself to smile so much. I'm always telling my students, smile more, be happy, be positive, look positive. And they try. <laughs> Don't always succeed, but they try. Although being nervous is normal, expressing unhappy feelings can make the audience very uncomfortable. So avoid being unhappy. Here's an example, right? What if you saw this person making a presentation? If you saw this person, I don't think you'd be very interested to watch her presentation, right? She's unhappy, she's annoyed, she's unfriendly. The most common error of presenters, of presenters is to avoid contact with the audience. You see, we can see that right here. She's looking here. She's looking there, she's looking there. She's looking everywhere, but not looking at me in the audience. This can include hiding behind a computer or a podium, looking somewhere else, or simply not facing the audience at all. Everyone knows this mistake when they see someone else do it, but it is hard to know when you do it yourself. Nervousness makes it hard to relax and face the people you're watching. Of course, being relaxed is the key to facing the audience, but 
how can you relax? It's easy for me to say, hey, relax, but how can you relax? Here's some examples of facial expressions, right? Not very good. Hiding behind the computer, looking the other way, looking down, looking up. The most important key to relaxing is to know your information well. Feel comfortable with your presentation information and you will feel comfortable in front of the audience. I think this is something that I just am quite sure always helps. Your presentation information, your research, your new product or service, your sales presentation, you feel you like it, you know it, you feel comfortable with it. That's why I always emphasize, spend less time playing with PowerPoint and spend more time talking to yourself, talking with a friend or a classmate about your presentation topic, feeling confident about it. If you don't know the topic well, it's really going to be hard to not be nervous. Hand gestures, of course, can emphasize when a point is vital and when one point links to another. Effective use of the hands are key to body language and presentation. As you can see, when I'm presenting here, I'm in a very small space, so I can't move my body much, but I can use my hands. And I love to use these kinds of connecting, so you say, First we did A, then we did B. After the pretest, we went on to the full survey and data collection. You see, you use your hands this way. This is the most important part of our research. After we finished our preliminary test, we found out there was a serious problem with our theory. You see, using the hands this way. Emphasize transition are really great ways to use the hands.